I just got notified. I just got notified. I just got notified, and I'm happy. Let's oh, run out to the middle. Really run, cause I'm so fat to run up this hill. But oh, we're gonna walk up here. Mailbox. Okay, this thing must be smaller than I thought it was. Wow. Oh, it's heavy. Let's put the little thing back in there. So the mail won't fall out. I bet y'all didn't know that was in there. Okay. By the way, this is my house. Phoenix City, Alabama. If anyone is looking for a house, this is for sale. Going up in a couple of weeks. 37 plus 100 square feet. Full basement. I should say full finished basement. Y'all, I'm so excited about this package. Let me get on the house. All right, here we go. Here we go. It's pretty heavy, which is a good sign. I was worried about it being so little. Oh, just one piece of tape. Woo -woo! All right. Crafters, you're going to want one of these. You're going to so, want one of these. I will tell you this. On here, it says the unpack and check contents. When unpacking your mini cutoff saw, check to make sure the following parts are included. Do y'all see all them parts? Do you see what I got? So, I was kind of perturbed. But then I realized all them parts are all these parts. And I'm assuming that... All that is right here, already put together. The only part I seem to have is this clamp, the vice jaw, the spacer. I have all that right there. And then I have the um, saw blades. And I have, let's see, some springs right here. So that's all we have. Rest of it. Is already put together. So this says, okay, so to read the whole book prior to using, it's not that much to read. So I went through and I read it and everything. And from what I see, everything is already put together, even though they list all these parts, everything is already put together. The blade is already in there, the HSS blade, that's the blade you're gonna cut wood with. And then, of course, you have your other ones, and this is what you will cut metal with. If you got metal, tin, stainless steel, something like that, that's what you will cut with. Now, the only thing I'm going to have to really put on is the clamp. Now, you can actually mount your mini cut-off saw if you wanted to by putting four screws, and they have pre-drilled holes in it. The screws are not, um, are not um, included, but you can actually put this clamp on there. And the way you put this clamp on there, I'm going to show you that. All you I'm going to go ahead and do that. Open that up, and I'm gonna have to cut off this tie right here. Let me get my. All right, so it opens up. You have your lever, and you can cut between zero to 45 degrees. This is right here, you'll loosen this up to put your object between it. Let me get it open. Let's see how far it open. Okay, that's pretty far. We could definitely fit our popsicle sticks in there. From what I see, you can actually put them together. This will cut to a one half of an inch. It's a hole right there. You're gonna put that hole, put this in your hole. It's gonna, the table part is gonna be right there. Put that in there, then you're gonna tighten it up, okay? Let's do that. We're gonna sit it directly on the table. Okay, so what we're gonna do is gonna take that. I'm going to push it in there, and then I'm going to screw it up until it gets tight, okay? I'm going to go on and tighten it up. Oh, that it won't move? Okay, so we've got our mini cutoff saw together. Everything is assembled. And when I say everything is assembled, you see all them parts that come with it. There's a diagram, and then you have... The unpack and check content list so it has the name of everything on there. Once you take it out the package, you will notice all of it is together. The only thing that you have to put on is the clamp and the vice jaw that you use to put it to the surface that you're going to put it on. Or you can permanently mount it by putting screws that are not included on, you know, you put the screws in and screw it to the item. Your HH, your HSS blade is already attached. That's your saw blade is already attached. Then, of course, you have the six other um, blades that go on here. These are the blades that you would use to cut metal, um, steel, stainless steel. This blade on here is good for wood. 
we are all ready together. So once you get it together, I'm gonna show you how to work this and then I'm gonna start on some projects. So you plug it up, I have it plugged up. Make sure it's on off. When it's pressed down on the circuit, it's on off. Once you do that, you're gonna turn on your light so your audience can see, bam. Got your light on. I'm gonna take the object that I'm gonna cut and I'm just gonna use a popsicle stick. This will go to a half an inch of depth so you can cut something a half an inch thick. Okay, so I'm gonna just sit it in there. I'm not trying to make anything. I'm just gonna show you how to use it. Let's sit it in here halfway so it can be straight until we, since I'm using one hand. We're gonna tighten that up. So that's the first thing you do. You're gonna secure your object. Once I tighten that up, I'm gonna go over here to the side again. And this right here shows you the cutting angle. You can go from zero to 45 degrees. We're just gonna set it right here at 10. Once you set it, you need to go ahead and you're gonna tighten up this lock nut screw so that it won't move. Okay, once we got that, we are prepared to cut. And the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna don our safety equipment. You're gonna put on some goggles and put on some gloves if you need them. I'm not gonna put my hand down there, so I'm not gonna use no gloves. So I'll tell you how this operates, then I'm gonna set it up so you can see it operate. Once you turn on the power, in order to operate it, you have to press this button, okay? So you press the button and push it down. So hey, I'm Seth. Just a short interruption to tell you, thank you for watching my video. I hope that you are enjoying it. For my returners, welcome back. For those of you that are new and this is your first time, I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't let my country voice turn you off because I do some good stuff. Okay, see you later. Subscribe, follow, bell. So I have my object set. It is on off. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flip that red split switch to on. And then I'm going to just gently break it down and press the little um, button at the top. Simple as that, 10 degree cut is perfect. Now another thing you can do is you can put a couple of these sticks together. Okay, if I'm doing a project and I wanna make sure they all are the same size, I'm, I can actually put them together. So I'm gonna put these on the table, make sure they're level or even, and then I'm just gonna tape them together. Okay, once I tape them together, I'm gonna wanna just turn, cut off that end for the project that I'm getting ready to do. And I want it at zero degrees, so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that zero down. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna flip it on. And I'm gonna go on down and I'm gonna cut them. Okay, once I do that, I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna turn it around and I wanna cut the other end off. Tighten it back up. Make sure everything is tight in case it came loose or anything. Flip it on. And then we go in and we go down. Turn it on. Take it off. There you go. And that's my mini saw. And you can use this on a variety of objects. Okay, so materials. I'm about to conclude this episode of I can until I get a man use a table saw. Now, I know it's a mini table saw. Don't jump on me. I do have regular size table saws, but I don't know how to use them. I'm not comfortable trying to use them right now while I'm getting ready to move, even though I had them for a year. So I got me a mini table saw. So let me tell you a little bit about this mini cutoff saw. That's what it's called. So it cuts to a depth of a half an inch, as I said before, and it has a miter cutting angle of zero to 45 percent. Uh, 45 degrees, I'm talking about percent. Zero to 45 degrees. It comes with a one um, HSS blade, which is the one you're going to use for the wool. And then it comes with six additional cutting blades, and those blades are used for... You can use those blades for cutting fiberglass, steel, stainless steel, and other ferrous materials and metals. For the HSS saw blade, use it for non-ferrous metals, woods, plastic, and other lightweight materials. So, for all those little things, this is dang near a perfect saw for small crafting projects, and I'm a crafter. This saw cost me $57. There are several more. I'll put this in my Amazon store. The link will be in the description. Happy fun. See you next time. With some projects. Bye, y'all. I can't stay straight. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be.